This area in particular has gotten a tremendous amount of rain in the past two days, 2.2 inches according to the National Weather Service. Since Arizona was hit particularly hard by the housing bubble burst, homeownership centers like this Chase one here in Phoenix will help those struggling to keep their homes. Laura Kennedy reporting live in Phoenix. A family of 13 is safe this morning after a fire broke out in their home near 27th Street in Indian School. Good morning, Arizona. We're out here in Chandler at the 21st annual Chandler Ostrich Festival. The parade starts this morning at 10 a.m. I'm Laura Kennedy in Phoenix. A Valley family is lucky to be alive this morning after a Phoenix police officer pulled them out of their burning home. With the post office facing billions of dollars for losses in 2009, they're looking to make some drastic changes, such as moving from six days to five days a week and delivering mail. We're out here backstage at Country Thunder USA in Florence, Arizona, where over 100,000 people are expected to hit this town this weekend for one of country music's biggest festivals. Cheyenne Mattingly was only eight years old last November when a brain aneurysm took her life. And she did, was operated on and they could not save her. She died on November 4, November 4th, 2008. At the hospital, her family made a brave choice, taking Cheyenne off life support and making her an organ donor. This decision saved the lives of three people, a baby who received her liver and two young men who received her kidneys. Can you imagine getting that call saying we have an organ for you? And you know, they must be so excited. Her grandmother, whose birthday was the day Cheyenne passed, hopes her story helps raise awareness of the power of organ donation. I never believed in being a donor, and I thought, okay, she's eight years old. She's given the gifts of life to three people, if not more. I can do it too. April is National Donate Life Month, so to join the 1.4 million people in Arizona who are registered to donate their organs, fill out one of these registration cards or check the box at the MVD when you get a new license or renew one. The number of people registered in Arizona has jumped due to this great partnership between the MVD and Donor Network of Arizona. 1.4 million organ donors are registered in Arizona, including one proud grandmother. Yes, the loss is devastating to the family, but she lives on through these other people. The International Auto Show transformed the Arizona Civic Center in downtown Phoenix on Thanksgiving weekend. Every major car manufacturer presented their 2009 models to the public, eager to see their favorite cars in a non-selling environment. Mini Coopers appeal to the younger crowd, while more luxury lines use the auto show to showcase their flashier new options. For people who attend just to browse, this show also provides its share of auto eye candy. Even though people love looking at their luxury vehicles, it's hybrid cars like this Prius, which are the real stars of the show. The hybrids are get more and more popular as there's more choices. And I'd like to take a look at the Prius again and see what they've done with it for 2009 and 2010. While Prius is still a staple name in hybrids, many other companies like Chevrolet have joined the fuel efficiency race. The buzzword in this campaign? Definitely hybrid.